Hello, and in this lesson, we're going to continue learning about S3 functionality, this time concentrating on S3 permissions, specifically permissions definitions, setting and using permissions, and making an object publicly available. So let's dive right in and start talking about what are S3 permissions. Well, S3 permissions are what allow you to have granular control over who can view, access, and use specific buckets and objects. Permissions functionality can be found on the bucket and object level. So let's first take a look at the bucket level. So clicking on properties and then opening up the permissions tab. Let me open this up here so we have a little more room. So on the bucket level, we can control who has access to the bucket and its contents using these various policies or adding or removing permissions. So currently for any grantee, we can either choose for that person, and this is me and my account right now, to be able to list or to see the bucket, to upload or delete to the bucket, to view permissions, meaning this right here, or edit these permissions. So for example, right now, even though our development team, if you remember Kunal, Donna, and Matt, they have an S3 bucket policy attached to them via the group that they are in so they can access and use S3. But since I created this bucket and currently the only grantee is me, none of them would be able to use or access this bucket, although they would be able to use and access S3 to create their own buckets. But if I wanted them to be able to access this bucket, I would need to add permission. And for this, I would have to say, okay, everybody can now list, upload, and delete, meaning that they can now come in and they can upload, download, use the objects in this bucket, but they wouldn't be able to view these permissions or edit these permissions. So it's just one way that you can use permissions to grant or deny access to specific buckets. On the object level, if I click on an object, go to properties and view permissions, we're basically looking at something similar, but it's slightly different. For this, it is just open and download, view permissions, and edit permissions. So I can give somebody access to the bucket, but then I can also restrict access to be able to open or download for specific objects within a bucket. And we can also share specific objects via this link here with the outside world. So say that you uploaded a file to S3, but you wanted to share the file with a friend or a coworker or somebody else that doesn't have access to the AWS account. Well, one of the really cool things is that you can do that. We can make this a publicly downloadable file. And we do that on the object level, creating the following permissions. We're going to create the grantee as all or everyone. And we're going to only select open and download, and we're going to save. Then up under actions, we're going to click on make public. And now watch what happens to this link here. If you see this little lock here, after I select make public, I'll click okay, go back to properties, and we're now gonna see that the icon changed and it is now available. So if I right click, copy the link address, or to open up a new tab or provide this to somebody else, they would be able to open, view, and download the file. So a really cool, neat way to upload something to S3 and share it with the rest of the world, especially for those people that don't have access to your AWS account. So that is a quick overview of S3 permissions and how they're used specifically to either grant or restrict access on the bucket or object level. So with that, I will conclude this video. Thank you for watching. You may now move on.